Welcome back to Anchor TV Weekly. I'm Raymond Bakari. Coming up, what the Anchor and Anchor TV are thankful for. Then, this week's edition of A Healthier You by Mel Rising Dawn. And as always, a recap of Rhode Island College's most recent sports games. Now this is a bit of a shorter newscast slash lighter news week due to Thanksgiving being this week, but for the couple days of this week Rick is open for, there are a couple of events students can attend. One of the events happening this week is Truths Giving on Tuesday in Gage 200 from 5 to 7 p.m. Students are encouraged to attend this event and take part in a traditional Indigenous community dinner catered by Sly Fox Den. Those who attend will also be able to share space, cultural and historical truth, and affirmations. The event is being hosted by the Unity Center and Learning for Life and is co-sponsored by the DDI Committee and Rick's Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Learning for Life will also be giving attendees recipe cards for making meals on a budget. There are limited spots for this event. To RSVP, students can visit bit dot ly slash truths 23 also happening this also happening tuesday is an lgbtq plus history month giant guess who to celebrate lgbtq plus history month pride alliance and student activities are hosting a giant game of guess who at the student union patio from 6 to 8 p.m alongside enjoying music and a game of guess who participants will also learn about important figures in the lgbtq plus history in the event of rain the event will take place in student union ballroom now looking ahead, this week is Thanksgiving. One of the top things on people's minds during this time of the year is sitting at the table with family and enjoying a nice dinner. It's also a time to be thankful. So some of us at the Anchor and Anchor TV decide to say what we're thankful for. I'll begin. I'm thankful for all the opportunities working for Anchor TV and the Anchor has given me. All my friends here, my family, everything. I'm also thankful for, and this is a bit of a self-plug, but I'm finished with all my work at Rhode Island College for what is my final semester here. I just recently published my senior honors project, which is a documentary called Gen Z Ready to Govern. That project focuses on Generation Z's emerging role in politics, how it all began, and where things look moving forward. The documentary is viewable in its entirety on my personal YouTube channel called Reality TV. And here's what our other members are thankful for. Hey guys, this is Brian, general manager of Anchor TV. And for me, I would say I'm thankful that Anchor TV is still going and going strong. We were actually very close to becoming a dead org, but uh, we have the most membership I've seen in my time at Rick, and we've been able to produce these high-quality newscasts every single week. So I'm thankful for that. Hey, guys, it's Nigel from Anchor TV. You know, wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving this time of year. Um, this year, I'm especially grateful for my family and everything that they provide. Uh, you know, they mean the world to me, so I'm very grateful to have them around. Um, wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a staff writer for The Anchor, and I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and my education. Hi, this is Josh, and this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for my family, obviously, my friends, uh, all the people around who make all the wonderful things uh, happen. Uh, and I'm also thinking about how grateful I am for how many uh, things are available to me, like artistic things, music and films and stuff that I would never be able to find uh, all my life, if I were born, like, even just half a century ago, that is just available to me at the push of a button now. It's really incredible, and I'm really thankful and grateful for it every day because it keeps me going. So, this Thanksgiving, I hope we can look at those things we take for granted and really love them. Hi, I'm Tyler Jackman, Managing Editor at The Anchor and Promotions Manager at Anchor TV. What I'm grateful for this Thanksgiving is all of the opportunities provided to me by Rick. Not only did getting involved in student activities help bolster my career skills, but it introduced me to the smartest, most hardworking people and the best friends that I've met at college yet. And also, that sees a wrap from the Don. I'm pretty thankful for that as well. It's now time for another edition of A Healthier You by production manager Mel Rising Dawn. And I think those, are, those watching at home are going to enjoy hearing this information before having Thanksgiving dinner. Mel, feel free to also tell us what you're thankful for as well. Here's Mel's segment. Thanks, Raymond. This year, I certainly have a lot to be thankful for. First, I'm thankful for my friend Anne, who has done more for me than I can ever repay her for. I'm also thankful for my friends here at the studio and for my friends at the Anchor newspaper. 
Welcome to a special Thanksgiving edition of A Healthier You. I'm Mel Rising Dawn. Today, we're going to explore the age-old myth, is it really the turkey that makes you sleepy? With Thanksgiving just around the corner, most of us are gearing up for a feast of epic proportions with family, friends, and loved ones. We'll stuff ourselves silly with all kinds of good food, and no doubt we'll end up feeling a little sleepy. The story goes that the secret sleeper agent is tryptophan, which is a protein found in turkey. So let's dig into this gravy boat and look into the science behind it. Tryptophan is a protein that's found in lots of other foods, such as chicken, cheese, and even in some nuts. It's used in the construction of the neurotransmitters serotonin and melatonin, which help to regulate our mood and our sleep, respectively. That being said, the turkey we consume can contribute to the production of serotonin and melatonin. However, the amount of tryptophan in turkey is actually not any higher than that in any other protein-rich food. In fact, we would need to eat about eight pounds of turkey at once for the tryptophan to have any sort of effect. So if that's the case, then what actually causes us to feel sleepy? The answer is simpler than we realize. It's carbohydrates. When we eat carbohydrate-heavy meals, the body's natural digestion response slows down, making us feel sluggish as our blood flow is redirected entirely to the digestive system. The denser the food you eat, meaning the heavier the meal, the longer it'll take to digest. For a meal of this size, it can take around one to two hours to fully digest, compared to the 30 minutes to one hour it takes for the average meal. There you have it. Tryptophan is just a scapegoat for carbohydrates. So this year, don't be a turkey and blame the bird if there's a surprise nap in your future after gobbling up all of those carbs. That's all I have for you this week. Join me next week for another edition of A Healthier You. Thanksgiving wouldn't be complete without sports coverage. And as always, sports manager Isaac Bean is in studio to give us the latest Rick Sports News. Take it away, Isaac. Thank you, Raymond. Rhode Island College's women's basketball team is rolling. The Anchormen are now 3-0 after winning the Williams tournament. The last game was a nail-biter. The Anchormen were able to survive Williams College with a score of 66-65. to Grad student Sophia Greer was named the tournament's most valuable player. The Anchormen have their home debut this Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. against Bridgewater State. The men's team is also rolling. The Anchormen are now 4-1. Their most recent game was a 74-65 win against Dean's College. The Anchormen will also return home against Bridgewater State on Tuesday. They play at 7.30 p.m. That's all for this week's Sports Recap. Back to you, Raymond. Thank you, Isaac. Looking ahead to things to look forward to once back from Thanksgiving recess, Friday, December 1st is Performing Arts Day. This is a day for prospective students to get a behind-the-scenes look at Rick's music, dance, and theater programs. Tours for that will be taking place at the Nazarian Center. Attendees will also get to meet current Rhode Island College students. People interested in signing up can find registration links on the Performing Arts Day section on Rick's upcoming events page. Also on December 1st is the last day to apply for Rick's Career Empowerment Opportunity Program. Applications are open for this year's cohort of mentors and mentees. The program connects current sophomores, juniors, and seniors with a 2.5 or higher GPA with Rick alumni. Connecting with those mentors opens up networking opportunities as well as preparing for the workforce after Rick. I recently spoke with Lee Chanel Ayala, the program's coordinator. That footage can be found in a prior newscast that will be linked in the description below. That's all we have for this week on Anchor TV Weekly. To see future episodes and content by Anchor TV, please click the subscribe button down below. To get even more updates on what's happening at Rick, visit anchorweb.org. From Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Raymond Bakari, and I'll see you next week.